Before we start, I would like to wish everyone a happy International Nature Journaling Week. And I'd like to mention that today is the June full moon. The Native Americans call it the strawberry full moon, but in the Celtic tradition, we call it the rose moon. And I'd like to give you a little update on my slime mold. Yesterday, it looked like yellow scrambled eggs it was behind this flower pot. And that is some yellow slime mold. Isn't that delightful? But today it looks more like the dog vomit, which is its other name. Well, I'm just checking out this yellow slime that I saw yesterday, and it's really changed quite a bit. I was just about to start my nature journaling when I was distracted by a very bright green bug. There's two brilliant green bugs on this log over here. I wonder what they are. Let me see if I can get closer. They don't fly away. Just a brilliant green bug. Oh, it looked like it was trying to chase a spider. Oh, now he flew away. There's another one down there, though. There's one pretty green bug. When I came inside, I learned that my emerald bug was not the emerald ash borer. Thank goodness, because that would be a disaster. But it was the six spotted tiger beetle. It is known for its large white mandibles in the front there, and it is a voracious predator of arthropods. While I was watching, I saw it chase a spider. Maybe because it's such a predator, it's called a tiger beetle. It's noted as a six-spotted tiger beetle because it has six white spots on its back. This part of a beetle is called the elytra. It's the hard case that covers their wings. The research said that it can usually be found in woods in a sunlit patch, maybe on a log, chasing insects, and that sometimes you see more than one in the same spot hunting. And this is exactly what I observed. Two of them hunting on a log in a sunlit patch. I was just going to say howdy, but I was distracted by an emerald green bug. Well, actually two emerald green bugs. And I stopped and took a picture of them. So now I'm going to say it howdy. Possum Patty here. It is June 5th and I am nature journaling. We had a little bit of rain this morning. Good for the grass. I think the sun is trying to peek out. And then I looked at some buds. The bud of the fleabane was just about to open. Well, it looks like this flower is about to bloom. We'll find out what it's going to be. Maybe fleabane. But there's a lot of buds and there's a lot of frog spit. Spit bug, spittle bug, snake spit, whatever you want to call it. But now I know that inside that foam that's made by the nymph 
of the frog hopper bug from the juices sucked out of the plant. So the nymph drinks the juices of the plant, makes this spittle, and it kind of acts like a protective coating for him while he's, or her, while they're growing up. Pretty interesting. What's interesting to note, I'm going to put this in my journal, is that this plant, I think it's a flea bane, we'll find out, has lots and lots of spittle bugs on it. And there's many different plants all around me. And I don't see them on anything else. So I'm wondering if they prefer that plant. Do spittle bugs have a plant preference? Now that's a good question for my journal. I'm just making a note that the leaves come right off the stem and there's no petiole, no leaf stem. Ugh, getting spit all over me. And the stems do have little hairs on them. And it's hard to tell if the leaf does. Feels fuzzy. There's hairs on the leaf too. So we're going to make a note of that. I think this may be the annual flea bane, which is in the aster family. The stem had little hairs on it, and I could just about see some hairs on the leaves, so I brought it in to look at it with my zoomy microscope. Another bud that I looked at was over on the poke. The poke was getting pretty tall and on one of the little side branches it had a stem of white buds. So I'm taking a closer look at this poke and uh, putting it in my journal. And this bud is growing off of a side branch opposite a leaf and it's not at the end it's not terminal there's more leaves coming so that's what I noted in my journal it's good to take a close look at things this little stem of white buds was opposite a leaf and then Oh, de odonata. Another bug caught my attention. There's a dragonfly down there and looks like when a little bug goes by he leaves this spot, chases it, then goes right back to this spot again. Looks like a bright yellow stripe on the back. Kind of far away. I have the camera on telephoto. Dragonflies are in the order Odonata. This one may be a painted skimmer. When I did some research, I learned that there were two kinds of dragonflies, perchers and flyers. The perchers find a suitable spot and they swivel their head around looking for prey. Sometimes they come right back to the same spot and start looking around again. And this is exactly what I observed. I guess the flyers catch their prey while they're flying around.
Thanks for coming along today while I was learning about buds and bugs. Bye-bye.